Please introduce yourself, tell everyone what My you do. My background is I'm a coach. I started coaching in the corporate world, consulting, working with leadership individuals and people that wanted to get into leadership. And I realised that a lot of the time people are bringing their personal issues into work. So instead of me actually coaching you on how to build your career, we're really talking about a lot of your personal stuff. So I realised that life coaching was more what I wanted to get into, um, but helping people to navigate their careers through that. So I'm here today because I want to build a business that helps people not only in their careers, but also in their businesses. So my name's Chanel, I have a background in interior architecture. I was an interior architect for about seven years. And I've got two young boys, so I decided I didn't want to sit in, on my laptop in my house every single day to go a bit boring to be honest. So I went into the field of luxury real estate, so I own my own luxury real estate company. I'm partnered with a few different companies, Final Country being one, another one called Aldar, which is in the UAE. We focus on development and investments. And I'm just focusing on the luxury real estate market and bringing it up to a level of service where it should be really. I'm Sophie, so I own the Juice Hub. I do like vitamin juices, I do pop-ups, I do wellness events, staff friendlies, and basically just like introduce that like you don't have to get an artificial drink from a shop, like you can easily get a drink that's not artificial. That tastes nice. It's got, all, it's got all your vitamins in and then it's obviously targeted, so I do like smoothies as well, which is good for like your immune system or your gut health and like target them, but it tastes just as nice as you yeah. get from Boost. Um, so that's what I do. I'm just looking to scale Juice Hub now because obviously I've done Amazon Shop Centre, I've done big names. I have so much that I do that I'm struggling to prioritise what do I do now. Hi, I'm Shay. I have been in Manchester for the past 10 years. I currently own a creative web design and digital marketing agency. I work with brands to move away from old static websites to more dynamic incorporating animations, interactions and live elements. So when someone comes to your website, it's more than that. It's more a brand experience so they really know what you're about. And that's what I focus on in a nutshell. My name's Samara. I'm an Amazon FBA seller and I'm also an Amazon FBA coach. We've successfully coached 15 hundred people to start their own Amazon business. Last year I bought a big manor house in Yorkshire so I am moving to service accommodation as well. Just can't help myself. <laughs> Before we get started, what is it one of the things that you're stuck with? Tell me like what takeaways do you want to take from today? I just want to have more clarity in terms of my marketing and talking to so that it just flows a bit. More clarity, yeah? My biggest one is I talk to a lot of potential clients, mm. but the conversion rates are not as high as I want it to be. So I want to learn strategies when I'm talking to people to make sure I can bring them in, bring them in as clients, and then retain them on their SEO packages or social media. I really want to work with companies to help bring them through. So that's my biggest thing at the moment that I'm struggling with. Robert, what's one thing you want to take away from today? So literally, I really want to learn from today's how we plan, how we got a business map. Yeah, so you need a clear path to what your next steps are. Okay. Aisha? For me, similar. I think startup, so what to prioritize and, you know, like just have a solid strategy. Samara? Probably want to work a bit more smartly in my business. I'm running a lot of different businesses, all parallel to each other, and sometimes forget about my own needs and to take time out. Mm. Um, business is really exciting, but it can equally become very addictive when mm. we're doing a lot of stuff and we end up giving so much of ourselves that you lose sight of well, why. It's normally our family to spend more time with family, but right now I don't have that opportunity, so I really to streamline things a little bit for me. If you can have 100 people waiting to buy from you, even if you've got capacity for 10, that is a beautiful place to be in. You dropped some gems there. You're the you best you can people will believe you're the best, and if yeah. you're the best, you no one expects achieve. you to be the cheapest. Yeah. One thing you learned from the second session. Mine is the personal development and realizing how it can affect your business. Like, because if you're not in it and you're not developing, then yeah. everyone in your business will just follow the same. Mine is uh, improving the communication and thinking. Mine is people pay for access, make myself a bit more exclusive. How I feel after this second session is like doing lots of fun, and you've just helped me clear. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.